scientists are in the process of testing many different supplements to determine if these products can help lower blood sugar or not. Such supplements may benefit people with diabetes or type 2 diabetes. These supplements allow the patient to reduce the amount of medication needed. 1. Cinnamon. Cinnamon has the same effect as insulin and increases insulin sensitivity. In people with diabetes, the pancreas cannot produce enough insulin or cells do not respond to insulin, leading to high blood sugar. Cinnamon can help lower blood sugar and fight diabetes by mimicking the effects of insulin and increasing glucose which transport into cells. It can also help lower blood sugar by increasing insulin sensitivity, making it more effective in moving glucose into cells. One study found that consuming 500 mg of cinnamon extract daily for 12 weeks reduced 14% of oxidative stress in adults with prediabetes. This is significant, because oxidative stress is associated with the development of nearly every chronic disease, including type 2 diabetes. Researches shows that the addition of cinnamon helps lower blood sugar and control diabetes. People with type 2 diabetes who consumed 120 or 360 mg of cinnamon extract before breakfast had an 11% or 14% reduction in fasting blood sugar levels, compared to those who didn't use. In addition, hemoglobin A1c of 3-month average blood sugar, decreased from 0.67% to 0.92%. All participants took the same type of diabetes medication throughout the study. 2. Probiotics. Probiotic supplements, which contain lots of good bacteria, offer many health benefits and can improve the handling of carbohydrates in the body. Probiotics are living microorganisms, often found in products such as yogurt, rice wine, pickles, good for the digestive system. When considering seven studies in people with type 2 diabetes, those who took probiotics for at least two months, they reduced 16 mg per deciliter in fasting blood sugar and a 0.53% decrease in A1C indicator compared to people did not use. In the study, the authors recruited and divided 80 diabetic patients into two groups, one group took a probiotic supplement and the other took a placebo. The study lasted for three months and the result evaluation was conducted before starting the experiment in the 6th and 12th weeks of the trial. Results showed that probiotic supplementation had a positive effect on participants' glycemic indexes, including fasting blood glucose, postprandial blood glucose, insulin resistance levels and serum insulin levels, according to Natural News. Probiotics also reduce the risk of depression and anxiety due to lifestyle changes and the fear of complications of diabetes. 3. Berberin. Berberine is not an herb, but a bitter compound taken from the roots and stems of several plants, including golden seal and philodendron. Many studies show that berberin can significantly reduce blood sugar levels in people with type 2 diabetes. In fact, its effectiveness is comparable to the common drug in diabetes, metformin glucophage. Magnesium reduces insulin resistance, lower blood sugar, insulin hormone more effectively. A review of 27 studies in people with type 2 diabetes who are observed that taking berberine in combination with a healthy diet and lifestyle reduced fasting blood sugar by 15.5 mg per deciliter. And A1c 0.71%. In a study of 116 diabetics, 1 gram of berberin daily reduced 20% of blood sugar, from 7.0 to 5.6 mmol, L, 126 to 101 mg per deciliter, or from diabetes to normal levels. It also lowers hemoglobin A1c to 12%, an indication of long-term blood sugar monitoring, and improves blood lipids such as cholesterol and triglycerides. 4. Vitamin D. Vitamin D is thought to help improve the body's sensitivity to insulin, the hormone responsible for regulating blood sugar and thus reducing the risk of insulin resistance. This vitamin can help regulate insulin production in the pancreas. Many other studies show that vitamin D deficiency is also associated with hyperglycemia, insulin resistance and hypertension. The daily supplement of vitamin D helps to improve the function of cells beta-secreting insulin, helping to reduce blood glucose levels, so it has the effect of limiting the development of diabetes type 2. In one study, 72% of participants with type 2 diabetes were deficient in vitamin D after two months of taking 4,500 IU of vitamin D supplement daily, 
both fasting blood sugar and A1C improved. 5. Aloe Vera. Aloe Vera contains at least 75 active compounds, notably among which are vitamins, enzymes, anthraquine ones, minerals, lignin, saponins, salicylic acid, amino acids, phytosterol, etc. It is extremely important in improving the blood sugar level of diabetics. In addition, trace elements in aloe vera such as magnesium, manganese, chromium, zinc, also play an important positive role for glucose metabolism by improving insulin efficiency. Aloe vera helps regulate the blood sugar levels of the patient in the most natural way without the need for medical or chemical intervention. If used appropriately, aloe vera can significantly lower blood glucose levels. Supplements or juice made from the leaves of this cactus-like plant could help lower fasting blood sugar and A1C in people with prediabetes or type 2 diabetes. Aloe vera is rich in glucomannan, it is a fiber polysaccharide, easily soluble in water. In short term, this substance acts as a drug that lowers blood sugar. 6. Magnesium. Recent studies have mentioned a mineral called magnesium, Mg. Just getting enough Mg each day can reduce the risk of diabetes by 10% to 30%. A survey of 39,000 women found that those on the Mg-rich diet had 11% lower risk of developing diabetes six years later. Particularly for overweight women, the effect of Mg is even greater with the risk of developing diabetes reduced by over 20%. In two other studies involving 85,000 women and 42,000 men over a 12 to 18 year period, the group that consumed the most MG had a 30% lower risk of developing diabetes than those who ate less. Further laboratory studies suggest that magnesium affects the effects of insulin in the body. In the absence of magnesium, insulin resistance worsens, leading to diabetes. In order to achieve the above effect, the daily intake of magnesium should ensure 320 mg of magnesium for adult women and 420 mg of magnesium for adult men. Grains, beans, dark green leafy vegetables contain lots of magnesium. You want to learn more about diabetes and information about this disease. Please visit our website, forourhealthy.com.